Hi folks, this is Jason coming to you with another episode of Relive the Run. Four years ago, I ran across America over 3,000 miles, just about two marathons a day for a top 10 fastest crossing and the first and only by a blind person. And I learned a lot and I'm honing into those final days. So four years ago, it was May 21st, 2016, three days from the end of the run. And the lesson for today is be sentimental. And why is that important? Well, a lot of times things happen in our life and we just careen by and let them happen. But the fact is life is very special. And the moments that we experience in life, all of them are special. I've always said life is just a series of moments strung together. And when you think about that, you know, we don't remember every single every single instant or second of our life, but we do remember those moments in chronological order and can string those together. And uh, it's 3 a.m. right now, actually a little bit after 3 a.m. And I'm thinking about this and I'm making this video because uh, this run really impacted my life and it was extremely sentimental, moving, and it, it changed my life. It uh, saved my life, um, did a lot of things for my life. But be sentimental with the things that happen in your life, the people in your life, um, your dreams in your life. Give them the due credit that they deserve and really appreciate them. Here's a clip from the morning uh, of May 21st, 2016. Raining. It's only 168 miles to New York City. Trying to get a shortcut through the Holland Tunnel gonna beg and see if they'll let me. If not, over George Washington Bridge. Gotta put them together. Three more days, my buddy Jay Flynn and his family meet me today and tomorrow. And tomorrow Camila will be out here to be able to take me in, so. It's gonna be good. Just tired. I think, like, physically I think I can do it. I think it's just mentally. I'm getting close to the end and just ready for it to be over, so. Anyway, I gotta switch the attitude, change it around, and uh, just decide it's gonna be wonderful and enjoy these last few days. Enjoy the heck out of them because it's been the journey of a lifetime and I'll never do it again. It's been good so far. I wrote a book about my run across America. It's called Running Into the Dark. And my second book, The Success Cycle, will be out in the summer of 2020. So be on the lookout for that. I'm also a keynote and commencement address speaker. So if you need something fresh, inspiring, different, moving for your audience, make sure you look me up. And 10 years after that eye doctor told me to forget about my dream, I passed the bar exam and I became a lawyer. Okay, you just clapped for lawyers. I also teach individuals and organizations about success and resilience. Remember, be sentimental. You got this. This is Jason Onward. Mm -hmm.